Hello and welcome back to my second video for Infinity Fitness. My name is Jason Berg and today we are, will be looking at some more intermediate exercises to put into your uh, preparation for an obstacle course race. Uh, last week I had talked about general fitness preparedness uh, and some basic considerations when getting ready for your what might be your first obstacle course race or fun run style um, event. Uh, and most of those considerations had to do with upper body strength and uh, lower body uh, dynamism, you know, being able to just kind of all of a sudden uh, call on some explosive power. So uh, just touched on some real um, beginner style exercises for that. It's what we did, did in the last video. Uh, today I'm going to be building on that here with some more progressions in those areas. Uh, if you're new to an obstacle course race or similar style uh, event and you're not currently in the best of physical condition I would not recommend that you start with these exercises but I would still encourage you to you know get out there and and, and uh, move around uh, but this might not be the place to start please do be on the lookout for some later video projects in which I will discuss uh, more con deconditioned protocols that can help get you going uh, if you're uh, really overweight or have some physical um, uh, dysfunctions that are preventing you from, uh, you know, achieving your, your fitness results. But that'll come later on uh, after I finish up this series here. All right, so in this first clip, uh, it's pretty straightforward, uh, just kind of as a review from the things that we talked about last time. Uh, if you're going to do an obstacle course race, you know, 99% of them are going to be done in some sort of a trail type setting, you know, off uh, streets. So, it's, it is really important if you're new to this type of an event that you do some some type of, of trail running. So here you can just see me just jogging, you know, in the trail that I have to go along. There's several reasons for that, and I keep talking about it, and I'm going to keep talking about it throughout this video too. Is you know, foot, ankle, knee, hip, health, and alignment, you know, are going to be really important. And when you're doing a trail run, you're not going to be, it's not going to be perfectly level like, you know, your local neighborhood streets. Uh, so you got to get used, you got to get the feet, ankles, knees, you got to get those used to stepping on rocks, um, hitting little divots, uh, dodging some dog poop, you know, whatever it is. Uh, but you got to be okay with that, you know, whereas on the street, uh, you, you're the lower extremity just doesn't get that. Next set of clips. Um, I have, I'm here uh, doing a step up to a two-footed landing uh, off of a park bench, a uh, picnic uh, table bench. And uh, the, the one-footed step up alternating, uh, it's just a good general strength builder for uh, your legs, thighs. Uh, the two-footed landing is, is just meant to just be practicing how to come down off of an obstacle. So you know, landing softly, allowing the soft tissues, to absorb that contact uh, with the, the ground so that you're not stiff-legged sending all those forces up you know through your uh, through your back or something like that so uh, just nice two-footed landing here and then all along with that there there's you can just see I'm going along a trail so I'm just coming along here on this trail that I have and just coming up to this log uh, with its stump that's right next to it and just you know stepping up to it and then taking that nice two foot and landing again so you know those that's a real easy one to just incorporate if you happen to be you know uh, fortunate enough or nearby one you know you know doing a trail run and you happen to see something like you know just a log you know just go jump off it you know it, it, it's real easy real simple you know and you get back on the trail and it's just that little extra kick there for that lower extremity extremity that helps you know condition those tissues to that those sudden changes in um expectation from that steady state you know 5k 10k pace that you might be running which is just kind of a regular plod uh, as you go along and in this next set here uh, similar to the two-footed landing off the stump uh, we're just coming up to this log here along the trail and then we're just going to do bunny hops all the way over and back you know kind of in a slalom all, all along the length of the log there uh, in the last video I had showed you just uh, jumping up, balancing, and then jumping down, jumping up, balancing, and then jumping down. Uh, it's a little less dynamic, a little, little more tricky, 
uh, to go all the way over and back in succession with that nice rebound um, you know never kind of going all the way flat footed but it's bound and rebound you know open over and that's a pretty that's a pretty easy log there that's not even as high as the one that I was jumping up to last week uh, I think that's only I'm only getting like maybe you know a foot off the ground or something like that so uh, it doesn't have to be super explosive uh, it just needs to be what you're really practicing there is that bound and rebound Okay, in this clip here, uh, what I'm doing is a, just a good general strength exercise again for the lower body uh, in a forward alternating lunge, maintaining good posture and a good knee position over that forward toe. Uh, you don't have to go all the way to the ground and touch with the back knee. That's not necessary. Uh, it's on asphalt, so you can be nice to yourself. Uh, but there I kind of transition into a forward to a backward and then finally there is the lunge hop so the alternating lunge hop so that's a more dynamic uh, progression from just the standard forward lunge and uh, backward lunge combo all right so here we're just doing some bunny hops stand on the basketball court with the uh, lines there we're going forwards backwards uh, some side to sides looks like i'm doing some boxes there box shapes there uh, pretty badly uh, but you get the idea the idea is to just to continue um, working that agility and that change of direction that change in dynamism from that steady state 5k pace where it's one two one two one two and then all of a sudden you gotta you know jump or twist or change or leap uh, side to side forward or backwards uh, some change of direction like that and so that's what we're really practicing right there so here we're just taking advantage of the equipment that might be available at your uh, local park uh, there happen to be some parallel bars there. They'll make a, uh, an appearance, you know, later on as well, doing some other things. Um, here, I'm just going underneath and just doing a pull. Looks like I got an overhand grip there, like a high pull. Um, just as something different, um, body, you know, anything you can do to manipulate your body weight on this playground structure uh, is what you're going to want to be doing. So uh, it's important to just, you know, take advantage of what's there and then uh, move about. So then this last couple sets here, I'm just working on pull-up progressions here on this short bar, uh, starting with uh, two feet underneath me that I can use to assist as I need to for reps, and then uh, go to two feet out in front, introduces the uh, assistance there quite a bit, and then uh, finally just a single foot underneath, which uh, you know reduces the assistance even further. So uh, and there's different ways to do it. There's a lot of different ways to progress pull-ups. You know, you can do, you know, bands and, you know, all kinds of different things and, you know, weight weight training work and stuff like that to uh, to just, you know, build up just general strength. Uh, these are just some simple just, you know, out in the field sort of, you know, progressions that you can do. And finally here, if your playground area that you go to doesn't have a strict straight pull-up bar that you can use, uh, here I'm just using a monkey bar style apparatus. Uh, that you can just do and here. I'm just doing some chin-ups on um, This one's nice because it's curved actually and so depending on how tall you are you could you know pick a spot And if you needed a little boost you could you know kind of rebound off the ground there uh, with a little toe touch action so uh, Just you know kind of goes along with the parallel bars and just taking advantage of what's there pushing and pulling uh, and Moving and moving your body through space. So that's all we're doing right there Okay all right, so there you have it. Some simple progressions to add on to last week's video that you can use to incorporate into your neighborhood runs, maybe a park, uh, trail running, that sort of thing, uh, as a more kind of a step up from those beginner exercises you know, as you prepare for your first obstacle course race. Next week's video, I'm gonna do a little bit more technical stuff, talk about um, the uh, the actual physical considerations and the requirements uh, for that are that are drawn upon for uh, an obstacle course race. You know what exactly it is that you need gonna need to do. What is it your body's gonna be asked to do over the time, the distance, and the obstacles themselves. We're gonna be putting some together so that you know if you're programming for yourself or for somebody else, if you know a friend or something like that, then you'll kind of have an understanding of what those requirements are, and you your programming and your your training progression uh, will be that much more effective uh, in the long run. So thanks for watching. My name is Jason Bird. Uh, I really appreciate you taking the time uh, to watch my video. I uh, hope you find 
found it useful and I'll see you next time. Thanks.